Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about counting atoms in a chemical formula. This is a second video. I have a more beginning video and I'll leave a link in the show notes. Chemical formulas describe the types of atoms and the numbers in an element or a compound. Let's take a look at a chemical formula. You may notice that it has a subscript. The subscript applies only to the atom that they are behind. A coefficient applied to the actual compound and you multiply the coefficients and the subscripts. And sometimes you have a parentheses around a polyatomic ion and it applies to everything inside the parentheses. So let's work a couple of chemical formulas and count the number of atoms. Up first you have sodium acetate decahydrate. So let's look and see what we have. First we have sodium and notice it does not have a subscript. So that therefore you can assume that there are only one sodium. Next you have a subscript of two behind the carbon. So you will have two carbons. You will have three hydrogens and two oxygens. Remember chemical symbols always start with a capital letter. Next we have calcium phosphate. And you will notice in calcium phosphate that you have parentheses. So let's first look at the calcium. It has a subscript of three, so you'll have three calcium. Then with the parentheses, we multiply the subscript of two on the outside. So that will be two times one for phosphorus and two times four for oxygen. And that gives you a total of 13 atoms. This helps 